Hi everyone, it's Alex. I hope you're all well. It's good to see you guys. <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a little bit of a sore throat. I was trying to say that I just uploaded an unboxing of my pinch me box over on my other channel. I'll leave a link below on Lipstick Baby Doll if you want to check that out. But I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. I hope you guys had a good Christmas and holiday um, season. I had to come on here uh, before the year closed out and make another video. Uh, so, and I figured what better way than with an empties video. So it's kind of like tossing out my empty garbage that's been laying around. So I'm just gonna get on with it guys. Let's begin. The first thing is from Equate. It is a, a foaming bath in the scent Lavender. And this is the Walmart brand. And I I like these. I think they're decent. The smell isn't too artificial to me. Um, it has a decent smell. And you get a good amount of bubbles with these. So that's something that I like to repurchase every once in a while. I have a hand soap from Bath and Body Works. I guess I'll do all the Bath and Body Works stuff. And it's an eucalyptus mint. I don't buy these very often. I've mentioned that these soaps, especially the foaming ones, are really drying on my hands. But um, I got this during, I think maybe it was their hand soap sale or something. I had gotten some eucalyptus mint. It's kind of a stronger scent. But yeah, I used all that up have a bath, uh, bath shower gel from them in Juniper Breeze. Uh, this, this was a nice scent. I got this out during a semi-annual sale and wanted to use that up. I still have some more I need to go through. But this is my first time trying this scent. It was pretty, pretty good. It was okay, not my favorite. This was another first for me, another semi-annual purchase. It's the Country Apple shower gel from Bath & Body Works. I don't really buy a whole lot of, <clears throat> I'm sorry for my throat. Uh, I was almost not gonna do this, but I was like, I need to come on and explain, you know, why I haven't made a video. So anyhow, thank you guys for putting up with me. Yeah, I don't buy apple scents very often, but this, this one was nice, it was good. I don't go out of my way to buy them, but. I had never tried it, so I wanted to. I have some wallflowers in there. This is the Fresh Cotton Ones, Odor Eliminating with Fresh Source. This is my first time trying the Odor Eliminating one because I had never seen it before. I didn't really notice a difference in how it worked with the regular wallflowers. So, I don't know. Well, that's just kind of like a gimmicky type thing. It just let out some fragrance which I liked I like the scent I have another pack of wallflowers and it's in twisted peppermint <clears throat> I try to get this every year either in the candle wallflower usually in the candles but I saw this and grabbed it so I just put them back in a little package when I got done with them I just threw them back in there I don't have any big candles in there I just have this one and it is a single wick jar, a uh, small jar, and it's an almond matcha. And it's, it says it's from White Barn, but I got it from Bath & Body Works. Very like unique scent to it, just different from what I normally get and burn. But I like it, it's kind of um, more <coughs> earthier, uh, like a woodsy tone to me. So, print is too small. I have some pocket backs. I have watermelon and lemonade, which is a favorite. I have Aloha Beaches, which has a coconut on it. It says cool coconut. And then I have one in stress relief. This was an eucalyptus tea. This is one of those aromatherapy ones. It looks like there's a little bit left in there. Maybe I'll try to use that up. I'm not sure. I could use that right now so I don't spread germs. I have a single wallflower in there, turquoise waters. This is one of my favorite scents. And that is everything from Bath and Body Works. I thought this was Bath and Body Works, but it's not. 
This is from the body shop. I have two of these. I wanted to use these up. <clears throat> Cause they have a date on them of 12 months and I've had them longer than that. These are the hand creams. I have one in Satsuma. This scent to me is very strong. It's a popular one. So you, a lot of you probably already know what it smells like. I just find it really strong for my taste. Yeah, but I used it all up. Um, mango, I preferred mango a little bit more. It's a little more mellower, sweeter. So yeah, they look the same. But I really like these, They're, they absorb well because my hands get super dry. Um, one more thing from the body shop is one of those home fragrance oils. And this is in Tatsuma, so again, when I burn this, this scent is super strong, so. But I like it, I mean, I still use it. It's just like one of those, wow. Um, oh, I have another one, pomegranate and raspberry. A little more mellow, more sweeter, um, yeah. I probably like that one better than the Satsuma. It's not as um, like overpowering to me. I have a sample. I got this in an influencer. It's a therapy session hair mask from Eva NYC. This worked good and it um, was good on my hair. I know you can get this at Ulta. I haven't purchased it, but I would repurchase it. It's pretty good. I got this in a pinch me box. This worked really good. This is a um, it says it's a hand and body lotion. I have mainly used it for hands. Fragrance free, sensitive skin. I really liked it. So, yeah, I would repurchase this. And it's fair trade. It's no animal testing. Good product. And then I have um, another fragrance oil. This is from Walmart. And it's in Hawaiian Mist. I like these, getting these big bottles because I go through them kind of fast. So this is one of my favorite scents. The last two things I have in here are this little eyebrow uh, facial razor. I just use it if I see any like little hairs that I want to get rid of quickly that I don't like tweeze or yeah, just quick touch ups. And then I have this little sample. I don't normally throw these in there, but this is Blue Serum from Chanel. And I applied this um, like after washing and all that uh, before moisturizer before I was did my makeup and yeah I really liked it if I know it costs a lot if I could get it I would I'm sure yeah it's like out of my price range but that is everything those are all of my empties that I've used up over the past month or so so I appreciate you guys for watching and getting through this video if you did if you watched it all the way through I appreciate it Give it a thumbs up and let me let me know. I hope you have a happy new year and I will see you in my next video very soon. Love you guys. Bye.